Today we're going to talk about the 52 Gao in Salmon Run. In this series I break down weapons and how to use them in Salmon Run. The videos are short and they don't cover absolutely everything about a weapon. I just aim to make you feel a little bit more knowledgeable when playing Salmon Run. Number 1. The 52 Gao is a middleweight shooter that is a strong all-round weapon to have in Salmon Run. Like a lot of other shooters, it's a jack of all trades and can flex between roles and fill gaps in a team whilst also being beginner friendly. But when used well, you can provide your team with invaluable support. Number 2. Did you know that the 52 Gal does 52 damage? The fall off damage is a minimum of 35. It also has a quick fire rate and great ink efficiency with little punishment on its ink tank. You can fire continuously for about 12 seconds before you run out of ink. You recover ink quickly and this makes throwing bombs and eggs easy and safe to do. Its middleweight status gives it good mobility and allows you to move around maps with barely any limitations so you're able to be wherever you're needed relatively quickly. Number 3. The 52 doesn't struggle with any boss, but at the same time, it doesn't really stand out. It does its job extremely well if you know the range, ink tank, and strength. You can reach and kill steelheads just fine, and most bosses can be one cycled or killed quickly. Big shots need a bit of time put into them, and you might need to climb a fish stick to get better consistency with the shots, but otherwise, the 52 handles everything rather well. Due to its ink recovery, you should be the teammate that takes care of moors and fly fish with bombs and also paints the basket area to help with flipper floppers and scrappers. Oh yeah, sometimes the RNG of this weapon will just... yeah, that. But don't worry, happens to all of us. This weapon would be too powerful otherwise. Number 4. The 52 paints. And I mean, it really paints. When you have this weapon, do your teammates a favour and keep track of map control. Map control is important in Salmon Run, but often neglected for other tasks such as slaying and running eggs. As a 52, you can be the knight in shining armour that your teammates might need if they can't paint well. For this reason alone, the 52 pairs well with most other weapons. It has a great ink efficiency that painting the area around you as you traverse the map is recommended. Paint all the walls you'll need and your teammates will thank you when they're stuck or need a quick escape. Number 5. The 52 fills whatever role you need it to. Depending on the comp you have, you'll need to adapt to what feels relevant. However, more often than not, you might find yourself being the only shooter and that means you're likely to be the player that is best suited to be continuously relocating around a map to deal with static bosses, shore spawns, far eggs, for example. Shooters have much more fluidity when playing as they have the ability to shoot continuously, maintaining some level of damage at all times. Use this to your advantage and recognise when you're likely the best player suited to fill this role. The 52, as mentioned before, has no issues killing any bosses, so you'll likely find yourself running for stingers, chasing eels and climbing fish sticks, whilst also dealing with lessers. Sometimes being a boss slayer will be the role you're forced to take, and you should have no issues doing this. Shooters kind of do everything all at once in Summer Run. You're an anchor that protects slower weapons, but you also run for eggs and throw bombs. You turf and control the lessers, whilst also running for stingers and big shots. So my final recommendation with this weapon is to do your best not to die. If you're the only shooter in a comp, your team will struggle without you supporting them and this can cause a snowball. Shooters can take a lot of liberties with movement that other weapons can't, but play with caution and keep the pressure off of your teammates. I hope this video helps you appreciate the 52 Gower a little bit more. Let me know what you think. I'll see you soon.